Alright YouTube, what's up? Um, I got Jabbots here, and um, I'm going to be doing a video, something like I don't normally do. Um, it's going to be on how to make a stylus um, for your iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, this is just a quick, easy way. Um, I know I don't really make like make videos like this, but you know, I just decided I found it out this way, so I think I'd like to get it out to all my subscribers and uh, viewers. Alright, so here's what I'm going to need. A uh, blank pencil, blank by meaning it's not sharpened yet, and the eraser's still good, so brand new pencil, some tape, preferably see through or whatever color you want, um, and some tin foil, and if you want, scissors, optional. By the way, don't run with these, unless your friend is strapped to a time bomb at the end of a hallway. Well, then that's up to you. Um, so here, first of all, what you need to do, you need to take your pencil, um, and your tinfoil. Open up some of your tinfoil. And that'll be enough. Right about there. Maybe about four inches of tinfoil. Right. So then you're good with that. About four inches of tinfoil. Now put your pencil down on your tinfoil. And about half an inch from the bottom. And then about half an inch from the top. So just make a line, maybe with your nail or something like that. Or just fold it right there. And then go back with the scissors. And cut along that line. Cut a little bit above the line because you can always take more off that. Right, so then you should have this little piece left over. Alright. So now you take your pencil. And it's got roughly about half an inch on the top and half an inch on the bottom. Alright. So now what you want to do is you want to stick your pencil right at the end. And once again have half an inch around the bottom left. About a half an inch uh, left over, as you guys can see, it's not all the way at the bottom. And half an inch out about the top near the eraser. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure it's right on the pencil. Um, I'll zoom in on this for you guys. And just push down as you're spinning it. And just roll it up in the tin foil. Push down so it stays really tight, guys. Just keep pushing. And then... Roll it maybe one or two more times past that. Alright, so there you have this. It's not going to stay together that well. So here's what you want to do. Make sure it's tight. Take your tape. Rip off a piece. Place it somewhere. And squeeze the tape on. Alright, so then do that again. Do it again to the bottom side, and maybe one to the middle if you want, um, wherever you want. Uh, it's up to you guys. I'm just going to put three pieces on, one at the top, one at the middle, and one at the bottom. Keep track of which one's your top and which one's your bottom, um, because well, it's just easier to use, uh, well not really, but whatever. Alright, so now you have this, your taped up tin foiled pencil. Um, as you can see, you have a hole in each end. What you want to do, um, zoom into this as well, is you want to take, find where the end of the pencil is, kind of pinch it a little bit, like so, and then quickly bend it over. So then you get that and just push it. Sorry about that, guys. My camera ran out of memory. Um, so uh, just to continue on with that, just keep squeezing around. Keep squeezing. And now, once it's firmly on there, um, take another piece of tape, and just find the very end of that, and tape it, tape it pretty tightly, so it's not going to mess up. Now what you want to do, make sure you have a flat surface, um, I'm using my countertop for example, take that end, and roughly for about, I don't know, uh, about 10 seconds, maybe not even, um, 5 to 7 seconds, until the bottom of this gets flat zoom in for you. Might make your counter a little tinfoil silver color. But it's, it's best if you do it in a circle, a circular motion, because it uh, evens out the whole thing. And just wipe off your counter. Alright, so that's pretty flat. Alright, so now, for the other side, do the same exact process. Pull it a little bit, 
bend it over fast. Make sure the edges are good. Tape it up. And let me know if you guys like like these little how these like this little how to kind of video, because I can do more of these if you guys want. All right. Once again, flatten this end out as well. Wipe your counter off so it doesn't get the. Uh... And as you can see, that part is now flat too. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep track. Um, by this part. It's mine's a little uh, thicker at the eraser side and thinner down here. So just make sure you keep track of which end is at which. Um, so pretty much there. That's your stylus. You can take some electrical tape, different colors. You can wrap it, make whatever colors you want it. You can paint it. You can color in markers, whatever. Um, just watch out. Tin foil may not hold uh, like uh, markers like that. Now I'm just gonna move you guys so you can see my iPod. I'm on my counter. I don't know why, I tell you the truth. But here, I now have my regular iPod Touch. I didn't do anything to it to alter this video. Um, Alright, as you can see, it's on the lock screen. Now I'm going to take my homemade stylus and very lightly I have a combo alright so there we go it, as you can obviously see I'll take my stylus very lightly drag it change the pages very lightly and you don't have to worry about the tinfoil really scratching your screen as long as you flattened it out pretty dang good like I, I made sure mine was flat I also have a screen protector on my iPod. As you can see there, now let me show you, for example, with a note. <clears throat> no, missed it. Alright, so here I'm in a notepad. I'm going to zoom out. Alright. And did exactly what I wanted to type. Hey, what's? I was going to write, hey, what's up, but it took too long. But that's just if you're looking for a quick little stylus, guys. Um, for your iPod Touch or iPhone. It works actually pretty good. Um, I just found this idea out, so I just want to get it out to you guys. Sorry if this video is a little long. I didn't mean for it to be this long, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, more videos coming up. Stay tuned. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys. I'll uh, catch you with you later. Don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. Um, don't for yes, rate down here. Um, tell this video about your friends. Tell them if they want to learn how to make a quick, easy touch stylus. Come check out this video. All right, guys. Thanks. See you guys later.